So I've got here the Vulture Gunships with Punisher Cannon. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get these open. Cutting away from myself with this really sharp knife. Get this open and start taking these bits out. And that is everything. We've got instructions here saying this is a 10 piece kit. So, unlike some Forge World things, they've actually included instructions, you're not left to work it out. Because I remember the early Forge World and it was very much you're on your own. So, let's check and make sure we've got everything. So let's check the quality. So let's zoom in and take a good look. So this wing looks perfectly fine. No print lines that I can see. This one's similar. This rear strut again looks fine. Rear hull. Great, there's a lot of pieces coming off this rear hull. And the front hull. Again, that looks pretty nice and crisp. These are good moulds. I'm not seeing any mould slip yet. It looks like they'll be redoing uh, different vultures with different weapon loadouts because they've only given you the puncher cannons with this, which is a bit of a pain. Yeah, that's the rear engine and those bits. Liking the look of that. As with any Forge World resin model, um, I've got a bath of um, warm water with some detergent in and all these pieces are going for a soak because they could have mould release on and if they've got mould release on that can prevent uh, paint sticking to them, particularly primer. So all of these pieces go in the bath for a soak. So I'll be back in a minute with the pieces soaked and scrubbed with an old toothbrush and ready to assemble. So I've got the vulture here and I've cleaned it up. When you're disassembling, when you're taking the pieces off the sprue there's a couple of bits you've got to be careful of. You've got to bear in mind these guns and ammo things go with specific sides. Uh, this piece here, there should it should have more definition but it doesn't at the top. So ideally it'd have a proper top of the fin but that's just not there on either side uh, which I find quite strange um, other things when you're assembling it you've got to put the weapons on the wings first if you don't you're gonna have real problems but also you have got these bits coming down here if you want to put a lot of detail onto painting the guns leave these off, paint them separately and glue them in after. Basically, because otherwise you're not you're going to have real difficulty reaching those bits of the guns. So this is another uh, super glue job. So now that it's all cleared up pretty easy to get this together. Though it does seem like this super glue isn't immediately bonding. With this it may be best to work on one piece, stick it together, then work on the next piece and then come back. So with these you've got the ammo on the inside of the wing. So these do have little attachments to go in. So let's get the first bit in. Yeah. 
you're going to have to hold it because it'll take a minute to set. And then you're going to want to put the gun on. This is a bit where tweezers can be advantageous. But you do want the ammo feeds lining up. So let's zoom in so you can see that. You do want the ammo feeds to look lined up because we're now going to put this engine nozzle on. It's worth checking to see if there's a side where there's any moulding that doesn't look right. That means you want that where it can't be seen. And then that side goes at the bottom. Okay. Then the other wing. Like so. Always dry fit before you glue. This is so fiddly that it may be super glue gel. Might be the better choice for putting it together. Oh, okay, that one went straight in with no issues. Unlike the other. between the two of those and then take any excess away with a little bit of tissue that's the gun stuck on the wing okay so quick dry fit shows that goes in with no issues And while that's doing, let's put the landing feet on. Again, there's a bit too much glue left on that. So let's whip some of it away with a bit of tissue. That wing is now fully assembled. Ready to go on. Ditto the other wing. Right, these tail fins. Okay, you want to check for little bits of flash here that can prevent that marrying up right because that's a real hard to reach bit if you've got any issues with it if you get flash in here, that's particularly hard to do anything about. And 
in on the other side. Let's dry fit. Yep. these bits yep so then we just want a little bit of super glue along here Fit the wing. As you can see, it's all starting to come together. Try fit this side. Yep. And then dry fit the wing. Yep. There we go. Right. So once that is all dry, you've got an assembled vulture. So compare it in size to a lightning. It's a bit bigger, uh, but it's still smaller than a marauder. But yeah, the kit itself is a bit fiddly. You've got to be careful with the weapons, you've got to be careful with the mould lugs. The tail, I'm really surprised that it looks like it looks. It feels like it shouldn't. And it doesn't necessarily look like that in the art. But unless I've had miscasts on all the tail pieces, then that is how they're actually meant to be. Which I find a bit weird but yeah this is an 11 piece kit it's nowhere near as complicated as some of the plastics the issue is that resin is quite fiddly you've got to wash it you've got to be careful with it um, it's very easy for you to end up doing it a little bit wrong if you do it's a pain in the backside to try and correct it but yeah these are really good in the game. They got maneuver one to eight. They can hover. Um, they've got punisher cannons and a heavy bolter. They can throw an awful lot of dice out. So look forward to flying them. Look forward to painting them up. They're a bit fiddly to put together, but I've gone through it in the video and you can see how it goes. So if you've liked this video, hit like and subscribe. If you want to chat, leave a comment below. But otherwise, good gaming.